welcome my dear friends to sharma classes naku.com here in this question we will be using the law of indices to simplify the thing step number 1 as we know y should be in the simplest form and here it is in the simplest form that is y y is equal to x plus 1 plus x square under root inside the root whole raised to m and then we have to prove this following 1 plus x square y n plus 2 plus 2 n plus 1 x y n plus 1 plus n square minus equal to 0 so this is equation number one for us now we will start with again differentiation that is differentiating with respect to x so y becomes y1 and addition rule or chain rule now m the total variable family x plus 1 plus x square raised to m minus 1 into differentiation of whatever is remaining without m that is differentiation of this which is differentiation of a plus differentiation of b form so here d, d by dx of x it is 1 plus d by dx of this root is 1 by 2 root whatever is root 1 by 2 root into by chain rule d by dx of whatever is inside the root that is 0 plus 2x so it is into 2x this 2 usually gets cancelled with this and we get So now y1 is now we will simplify this that is x plus under root 1 plus x square raised to m minus 1 into when we take LCM of this thing this goes this side this becomes 1 plus x square plus 1 into x this is x divided by under root 1 plus x square so this is a term and to this term power is not given that means it is 1 so this term and this term are same that is a raised to b into a raised to c is a raised to b plus c so we can add the powers we can add the powers after cross multiplying suppose i am cross multiplying first so this is 1 plus x square into y1 is m and i am adding the powers m minus 1 plus 1 is m so this total thing raised to m is nothing but y so i can directly now write as y from 1 always from 1 okay it's our fixed method we get y from 1 so now as usual again differentiating now again differentiate Let's give this equation, equation 2, equation 2 now with respect to x, to the left side we will apply product rule, first function as it is into differentiation of y1 is y2 plus y1 into 1 by 
टू रूट वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर इन टू अगेन टू एक्स इज एम वाई वन दिस टू टू गेट्स कैंसल्ड एंड आफ्टर टेकिंग एल सी एम दिस बिकम्स वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर वाई टू plus x y1 and this term goes to the right which was below just now 1 plus x square so our main aim is to simplify this we know from here from equation 2 we know under root 1 plus x square into y1 is nothing but m into y so we can replace this this term by my cm so the same equation now becomes this becomes one plus x square y two plus x y one is equal to m into m y is m square y. Let this be equation number three. now applying leibniz now apply leibniz to equation 3 so as a rule x function as it is y n plus 2 plus n differentiation of 1 plus x square is 2x y n plus 1 now plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial this is 2 and this is y n over now plus now let's take these two terms x as it is y n plus 1 plus n is getting multiplied differentiation of x is 1 and y raised to n this also over because differentiation of 1 is 0 let me take minus because this equal to i am treating as if m square y was minus m square y equal to 0 so minus m square as it is And y when differentiated n times y n that is equal to zero. So finally rearranging we know usually the first term remains same because there are there is no other partner with it, and we usually take common from second and fourth. This is second and fourth afterwards, and thereafter we take y n common from third, fifth, and sixth. so rearranging final decision 1 plus x square y n plus 2 plus when i take x y n plus 1 common i want to write it to the right side here remaining is 2 n plus 1 so this is 2 n plus 1 x y raised to y n plus 1 is there as a rule this two two gets cancel many times plus y n common so n square minus n plus n minus m square times y n 
this is 0 minus n plus n gets cancelled and hence the result c 1 plus x square y n plus 2 plus 2 n plus 1 x y n plus 1 plus n square minus n square y n equal to 0 hence prove thank you my dear friends